All right, more things. Here's the deal. Sometimes, very seldom, I prescribe L hang pull ups. And uh, people give me this. My shoulder feels like it's going to dislocate. If you've ever dislocated your shoulder, subluxated, or have any kind of shoulder issues where your shoulder kind of looks like this, a little funky, yes, that's you. What happens is that when you do an L pull up where you're at peak tension, try to stabilize the spine, as soon as you do this retraction of the shoulder blade, you want to flinch. And as soon as you flinch, guess what? There's an immediate response back to the shoulder that says, hey, out of position. And that thing is just going to fly. So here are a couple of drills that you can do to build this thing up. Very simple. The same way we were talking about doing a pull up earlier to do the muscle up, the strict muscle up, has to happen here. So what's going to happen is I'm hanging. This is just my strict pull up, okay? I want to lean back a little bit. That lean back is a natural hang. It almost looks like when I do a headstand freestanding. Hmm? Check that out. Now, here comes the next thing. I'm hanging. I'm going to go into a tuck position. The first thing I'm going to do is pull my shoulder blades back and down. What you'll notice is that when you pull your shoulder blades back and down, immediately you want to flinch. So it's very hard to do. So this is what you have to think about doing. Hips are going to rise first, then the shoulder blades come back and down. So I'm here fully hanging, hips come up first, now shoulder blades come back and down. The hips have to rise first because we have to do tissue loading order from the bottom to the top. If I start from the top, I'm going to flinch. It's not going to work because the system is closed from the top. So I start closing it from the bottom until I hit my base. My base is the rings. Okay, that's a very basic concept that you have to understand that. Anytime you're hanging on to something, you start by squeezing your body from the toes, legs, butt, belly, shoulders, and all the way up. If you're standing tall, you can start from here. Hands, arms, belly, butt, legs, feet. The good thing is that when we're standing, because we're so used to it, we can actually do it backwards, no problem. But these are just tissue loading order things that we use to train body positions and mechanics in the gym. So right now, I'm hanging. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift the hips up first. Now I pull my shoulder blades back and down. If I have that, now my tucked pull-up is going to be way easier. So I come up, pull my shoulder blades back and down. Now I can initiate. And what you'll notice that as I was trying to speak, I actually flinched. What you have to do is you have to keep everything compressed tight in. You shouldn't really be able to talk too much. You can say some things, but ideally don't exhale. Try to keep everything in and sucked in tight. So here, tuck position, pull. We go up, no flinch, bring it down. Notice where the line on my legs go. My knee is high up. Same thing happens when I do an L hang. If I'm doing my L hang, notice where my shoulders are. I can't handle that there. I'm going to flinch immediately. My toes have to be fairly high. I want to be up here. Now I can say pull, come down. L hang pull ups is a huge tool to find where you are sucking.